Hi everybody. Thank you for tuning in today. Hope you guys are doing well. You're staying healthy. You're keeping yourself occupied and not getting much worry. So today's video is going to be about my upcoming vacation. So I'm I'm really excited because it's been what it's been a year that I haven't gone out of states uh for vacation and this is something that I had been looking forward to since a long time because it's going to be a girls trip. Yes. I'm going with two of my girlfriends and we are going to Mexico. Uh if that was weird, apologize. But yes, we are going for Mexico. Um we're going to Cancun, Tulum, Mexico City. So please, please, please feel free to add me on Instagram to check out the places where we go to see all the tiny vlogs and all the fun stuff. And before I blabber a lot, let's get started. So the first thing I'll be packing for the trip is going to be my hair. I do wear a uh, helper hair or a hair chopper wig. This is a smaller wig. It's a till, till shoulder length wig that I have been wearing recently. And this is a long, beautiful, wavy, amazing virgin hair, hair topper. And if you guys don't know, I do suffer from alopecia. I do wear hair every now and then. Not all the time. I'm not wearing any hair right now. But I like to wear hair and jazz up and feel fun. Uh, so I'm definitely taking this too with me. I'll be putting them in a dust bag or something. Other than that, obviously I'm taking clothes and that's what I intend to share here, mostly clothes and shoes. Uh, so what do you guys think? Shall we just start with nightgowns, like evening fun gowns? What I meant to say is evening gowns, not nightgowns in which you sleep. So let's start with evening gowns because I love evening gowns. It's so easy to dress up. The first one that I'm really excited about wearing is this one. It's a champagne a champagne satin laundry dress or how they call it the slip dress so it's a satin slip dress in a champagne color nothing fun so far right i mean wait wait just see the back it's an amazing low back gown i just cannot wait to wear this i'll probably wear this with red shoes if i'm taking red shoes or nude heels or um you know, some strappy almost not present kind of heels and red lips this calls for red lips. So this is, I'm really excited to the wear. The second one I'm really excited to wear is this baby. I mean, I know it doesn't look like anything on hanger. I'll probably wear it to show you guys how it's going to look like. Uh, but this is the colorful number. This is the most printed gown I ever had. I can just imagine myself being in Chichen Itza. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, but yeah, wearing this on Chichen Itza, it's very flowy, it's drapey, it's fun, it has cutouts and the back, it's just amazing. So it has kind of a gaping in the back, but you'll realize once I show it to you guys. So yeah, this is a super fun dress that I'm excited to wear. I'm also taking this one, again, a gown. So I'm taking this one with me. I'm excited for this one as well. I'm taking this beautiful blue colored ripped may dress with me so yeah this is the other one last one i'm taking with me is this one it's a black spaghetti a spaghetti gown it's linen based and i think it's going to be breathable to the place where i'm going it's going to be warm maybe humid we shall see i'll let you guys know once i'm back and just to see how i style all these pieces do follow me on Instagram because that's where I'll be posting a lot of tiny travel vlogs, um, pictures of me, my friends and all three of us girls love to dress up. We just love to dress up. And this is the perfect opportunity for us to wear all the clothes that we've bought during the COVID. So yeah, we are, we are really excited. But other than that, after the gowns, I think I'll go with, uh, with jumpsuits. I love jumpsuits. The only time I hate them though, it's when I'm peeing in a public restroom because I kind of need to get naked if that makes sense in a public restroom and it gets weird. But other than that, I love because I love jumpsuits. I just don't have any excuses. So there are two jumpsuits I'm planning to take. This is one of my favorite jumpsuits. It fits so well. I'll just insert a picture here. It fits so well. It's very well made. It's from a brand called House of CB and I just love it. I always get compliments when I wear it and it's a perfect day 
the going out dress or uh, I mean jumpsuit but yeah this is the other jumpsuit I'm taking with me now let's go to maybe skirts I have recently got into skirts okay I'm not somebody who used to wear a lot of skirts I never liked skirts but maybe it's because I'm I am 30 now uh, or I don't know what I'm slowly getting into wearing skirts so I show the skirts I'm, I'm taking three skirts with me I'm taking this one you might have seen this in the recent haul I did it's a beautiful fit and the color is just the second one I'm taking is this skirt it's a midi skirt uh, I'll insert a picture wearing this skirt and styling it with uh, a fun Mickey t-shirt over here to check it out it was fun um, but yeah I'm taking this skirt I love the fit of this as well and the last skirt I'm taking it's going to be this baby. I just love the print of this one. I don't know the material. I think it's satin, but it's so smooth to skin. So I'm definitely taking this one with me. I might wear this one with a, a white t-shirt or a white ribbed top. So definitely taking this one. So now I need help from you guys. I'm confused between these two dresses. They're casual. This is like a fun day dress, very free, very flowing. And this is, I think, because it's white, I can wear it in day, but it's like I'm sexy, but I'm sweet too. So I'm not sure which one shall I take. Maybe, sh sh can I take both? Uh, I'll try both of them on, help you make the decision. Please comment in the comment box. Which one do you want me to take or do you guys want me to take both? I can do that. But this, yeah, these are the two I'm planning to take for my casual dressing. Yeah, I'm planning to take this one. So this is how it looks like. And yeah, it's just a normal champagne corset. The other one I'm taking is this one. It's a beautiful black and green golden embroidery on it. I'll insert a picture here. So I did dress it down with a distressed denim and uh, and a heel but I'm planning to wear this one with a black denim or if I get my leather pants by then. I think it's going to be hot for leather pants. So maybe just uh, if I'm dressing it down in blue denim or also black denim but I love this one. The other one which I have which I've never worn because I thought I don't fit I didn't fit into it but then I realized corsets are supposed to be tight. So <laughs> So yeah, I'm super excited to wear this one. It's very much statement blouse, puffy sleeves that it's really tight at the bottom. I'll try this one for you guys. I mean, I want to check it out how it looks now. But yeah, I'm really excited to wear this one. The next one up is a lavender bandage dress. I'm really excited to wear this. Uh, I've never worn a bandage dress before. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But yeah, this is something I'm super excited to wear. Very simple bandage dress. Next up is something, again from House of CB, which I love. Is this red midi dress. Again, it's a bandage dress, not... Actually, yeah, I have worn bandage dress before, I just realized. <laughs> so anyways, this is the bandage dress that I wore for my 30th birthday. After that, I haven't worn. I might take this one as well. I'll show, or I mean, I'll insert a picture here. To see how this looks like but i'll be definitely taking this one the only problem with this is sometimes i think it's it has tendency for a nip slip or some sort of uh, accident but other than that love this dress and the color it's very valentine appropriate this dress i actually got it for valentine it didn't deliver in time so i needed to get i wore it on my birthday but this is actually supposed to be worn by me on valentine's last year that's the reason i got it actually so um, yeah, so that are, that are the dressy dresses. Lastly, I'll be carrying some simple normal tops that I can wear with a denim. I'll be carrying like a couple of denims with me. I'll be carrying this like a ripped white, a knit cropped bralette. Uh, I'll get something more, which I can just wear throw on and I don't need to think about it. So let's go to the thing that you guys were waiting about. It's going to be now shoes. I won't be carrying too many shoes because I just like to pack light. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I'm just taking a lot of clothes. No, I, I'll i be taking shoes. So let me just show you the shoes and the heels and the flats I'll be carrying with myself. I'm back with the shoes. 
so uh, let me just keep all this thing down first. I'll be carrying the normal sandals. The reason I'm carrying that is because of the block heels. Very comfortable to walk in. And I love the almost nothing that is strap. And I think for everybody, it's really good to have a new pair of heels. It ele really elongates your legs. Definitely taking this one. The other one I'm taking, again, it's a nude shoes. So I recently got these shoes from Balmain and yeah, it goes with everything. I mean, it can go with my day dresses or my denim or anything where I know I need to walk a lot. I'm getting this one. The other one I'm taking with me, you guys might have seen in the last haul are these flats. It's from Zara. Not gonna say a lot about it. I recently said a lot. Definitely taking this heels. They're like really nice, fun heels. I might take one more heel. I don't know. It depends on how much space I have in my bag. Obviously, I'm definitely carrying a suitcase. But yeah, these are the other ones. Let's go to the bags I'll be carrying. With you. So these are the three bags I'm carrying for sure. One is this one. It's a box clutch. Got some studs. I have been having this since past four years and I've never used it. And weirdly now, it feels like a dupe for Valentino Roman studs. If you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is the one I'm carrying for like a party time. It does have a chain. I like to be hands-free, so I'm taking this one. The other one I'm taking is this bag. It's from Zara. Comes in every freaking color right now. And yeah, I'm taking this one. I'm taking this one especially because if I'm going to a beach and I want to carry an extra pair of clothes, I think this would be good enough. Because I mean, I wouldn't be carrying a lot of stuff, right? I'll be carrying just a t-shirt on and shorts. I'll be packing shorts. I just remember. The last one is this. It's again a clutch. I really liked it. I want to just, I mean, wear it, have pictures like this. Feels weird in this outfit. Just imagine like a bike shorts, a sweatshirt, and this purse. <laughs> I'm funny sometimes that way. But yeah, I'm taking this one. And other than that, I think that's almost all I'll be taking. I'll be taking bikinis. Um, yeah. And obviously undergarments, makeup, some jewelry. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, feel free to follow me on my Instagram if you guys want to see how I style it or if I'm taking something else that you guys didn't see in the haul. Not haul. Uh, packing video. And yeah like this video if you liked it do let me know in the comments if you guys want me to change anything because i'm really new to this kind of uh, packing clothing videos and any suggestion from you all would be really appreciated um what else subscribe if you like me yeah do subscribe <laughs> i mean it's up to you guys i'm kidding uh, yeah like subscribe share and what else in the youtubers say like subscribe share Ring the bell notification. That's it. That's it. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Anyways, have amazing day. Buenos dias. That's the word I know. I'm trying to learn Spanish. Buenos dias or buenos noches. Depends on wherever you guys are. Have fun. Take care of yourself and people around you. And yeah, be amazing. Bye.